Hello everyone, this is Mayank reporting for Sportstar. There has been quite a lot of chess activity in and around the world with the Indian prodigies show, uh, showcasing their metal with consistent performances. Uh, earlier in the last month, we have seen how Gukesh became the youngest world championship challenger after dominating the eight-man field uh, candidates in Canada. And then we have Arjun Erigasi, uh, whose upward ascent uh, thrusted him into the fourth position of world uh, live rating. Uh, where he's uh, he has the live rating of around 2770 plus uh, and then we have the chennai another chennai prodigy pragnananda who after finishing uh, fifth in the candidates has put up another creditable performance in the norway chess where he has finished third behind the likes of magnus carlsen and hikaru nakamura sportsar has caught up with pragnananda where we have asked him about his experience of playing in norway and uh, his performance in uh, the candidates and Norwich in general. Uh, also his healthy competition with his mates like Arjun, Nihal Sarin and Gukesh. Uh, so without further uh, delay, let's jump into the video. Yeah, the experience was good. Um, I, yeah, I think I had uh, good good games in uh, most of the games like i played good good, uh, good quality chess and in some games i could have played better like my both classical games against link but yeah it happens in a tournament that uh, sometimes one or two games yeah you don't uh, yeah you don't show your best that that's maybe because of one bad day but otherwise i was uh, i think i was playing at at a very good level yeah for candidates i we worked really hard uh, so i think yeah like last after candidates i didn't really work too much on chess i mean uh, i did work but it's not like i did it did a very uh, yeah very extensive work i was just uh, yeah trying to keep myself sharp i think the work we did for uh, candidates is showing now but uh, apart from that i think in terms of um, like the performance i think uh, my game quality has uh, i felt was always good like this uh, from the start of the year from vikanzi to prague and then um, candidates and now i think i felt my game quality was always at a very good level um, but somehow things yeah, things weren't going my way in some of the games which yeah which resulted in like me finishing in the uh, middle of the uh table always like um in prague i had this unfortunate loss uh against rapo and then yeah in like i didn't really score um, many many wins and yeah in canada also i had this few un uh, unfortunate losses but otherwise i felt I was outplaying uh, the top players and I was scoring wins, so that was important. I know, specifically for this tournament, I I don't think... Uh, in general, I don't take uh, others' expectations. Uh, I do have my own expectations to perform well, um, but yeah i never try to put uh, too much pressure on myself and especially this tournament i don't really think uh, i mean players playing here are uh, are top players so um in a way if you see that i uh, rating wise i was one of the uh, lowest state uh, so i didn't really have too much pressure i just want to give my best i knew if i played uh, my best in all the games i could yeah potentially win the event uh, I came close. I I was in the fight till the last one, so uh, it was a good tournament. I needed to win one more classical game or score more points in the Armageddon, which yeah, um, yeah, which I didn't really do. So um, yeah, maybe if I could have tried a bit more games, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to make too much predictions, but yeah, I'm working towards that. I feel like I am improving and 
yeah for me the main thing is uh, i am playing good quality chess uh so that's the main thing i'm i'm always looking at and yeah i'm satisfied with that and uh, yeah from here i just want to improve my game and yeah i have like lot lots of tournaments coming up so i'm focusing on that so um yeah if you focus too much on the rating while you're playing it's it can be distracting so um yeah you have to focus on the game and just keep playing uh, uh yeah keep giving your best that's uh, that's my motto uh yeah i mean i don't know uh, personally uh i feel like something is uh, i don't know maybe with the health or with uh, mentally uh, after the match uh, but i think he has spoken about it himself uh so yeah uh, but apart from that i mean in our match i was yeah i was more upset about my game uh, than yeah than like in blundering at the end um yeah i felt like the first game i was i was playing at a very very low level um and i was at some point i was even lost at some for a moment and yeah i was kind of uh, uh shocked that he offered the draw that was kind of uh, yeah a bit shocking because we we just crossed 30th move and i think that, that that's the first moment he could offer draw and uh, immediately offered one was kind of uh, shocking yeah. yeah i like uh, yeah new ideas coming but i feel like time control is one thing maybe yeah they could have uh, they could find one and kind of try to keep it I mean at least for some official events which are important because yeah we are playing like too many tournaments now and like each tournament the time control changes and it's kind of uh, you know you have to mentally adjust because for example in uh, in Canada we had without increment uh, for first 40 moves and in world cup we had with increment for the first 40 moves so it's it's a big difference and uh, like mentally when you know that you are getting increment it's a bit different and uh, yeah when you don't get it without increment you feel like you have to play a bit faster so um, yeah there are some difference and i mean as we are playing a lot of tournaments like back to back it's it's hard to adjust and i think um, that's something we have to learn to adjust and i think i'm doing yeah doing uh, yeah doing a decent job of that Yeah obviously we do discuss uh, about like our plans for the next games but yeah I, I mean in uh, grand swiss I was uh, kind of helping her uh, but it, recently I mean yeah we are playing uh, yeah top tournaments ourselves and so we don't really find too much time to kind of a uh, sit and go through like things uh, we are about to play um, yeah we don't have so much time but yeah we do discuss verbally like um, yeah i'm just planning this yeah planning that so uh, yeah so that happens and we do discuss about like the our previous games and and so on yeah i always said that i think um, yeah we uh, we give this um, we give each other the, the inspiration and motivation to do well um, before every norway game i see arjun is winning uh, another game in french league then you get this extra um, i mean it's not like some i mean we are friends but also you you have this uh, um, lt competition that you also want to Um, do and i think for me like uh, all the all the young players inspired me and um and yeah i mean i'm very happy to see uh, uh we have three players uh, in top 10 and yeah um i mean i'm looking forward to the olympiad 
It should be yeah. fun. So.